Did you know that approximately 80% of the world's countries eat insects and other taboo foods as considered by U.S. citizens on a more regular basis? If you have traveled the world, then you may have noticed that the human relationship with insects vary from country to country. And you may just be in the minority if you think that such things are not to be eaten. But have you stopped to think of the reason why? I'm currently in Hanoi, Vietnam, and today's video, we you and me are going to get into some pretty interesting things. It's a disclaimer, if I do cry, do not take it seriously. So let's start off with my new friend, Mai. Oh, uh, this is Mai. With some Fear Factor Eats. Let's get into it. So I'm with May, and we are in the old quarter walking to our first experience. I told her to take me where she sees fit, so I'm not really sure exactly where we're going until we get there. I'm just following May. It's quite busy here. They have shops at the Wazoo. And this is definitely a different ball game from what we experienced in Indonesia. How the streets are named are based off of the items the things that are sold there. So you would see the Fashion Street or the Medicine Street. It's not a tourist place at all. We're sitting down at a traditional Vietnamese restaurant where they actually serve duck fetus. You know, I don't know what we're trying right now, but I'm trusting my and she's gonna tell me what we're eating. It's just a taste, right? It's not a whole bowl. It's a taste. No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, sure. You're right. sure. <laughs> oh my god. That is a, oh just a porridge. It's safe and it's some it's normal food. Okay. Um, it's just like yeah. Something yummy. Something yummy. Yeah. Just a porridge. This is not the duck fetus. Yeah. But the duck fetus is yummy too. Oh, this is <laughs> So uh, this is something that uh, my mom would make me eat a lot because okay. like for uh, Vietnamese parents, this is healthy food. Healthy? It gives you a lot okay. of protein, right? All right. Yeah. What is this on top? Is it the pork? Uh, it's uh, pork plus. Pork plus. Uh, okay. So it's uh, dried pork that's been shredded. Okay. So it's pretty delicious. Trying the pork porridge, we have a... It tastes like pork rinds. Like the whole thing, no? You have to eat the whole thing. No! <laughs> For me, it's not meat. No, just drink it. I, I can't. I really can't. Yeah, drink it. <laughs> so drink it soup first. Yeah. Drink it. It's not meat. <laughs> drink it. It's so think of this chicken broth. Yeah. Okay, okay. I can do it. I'm pretty sure that you will feel yummy. I'm pretty sure that you will feel <laughs> Next up is the duck fetus and the broth. So you start off by drinking the broth that the duck fetus has been marinating in. This is good, right? No. No? Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's try it. Uh, you can have some salt. Yes, here. Yeah. What is salt? What is yeah, just a little bit of salt on top of it. Yeah. Ginger, you good with ginger? Fresh ginger. It? Ginger, you put it on it? Yeah. Ginger? And some veggie. Try the yellow part first. Oh, the yellow part. Yeah, the yellow is just like the egg yolk. Okay. So it will be uh, normal for you, right? Yes. Yeah, so that is the egg yolk. Here we go. <laughs> 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 I can't encourage her. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I can't really say it. I can't really encourage. I mean, that's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Give it a try. So, what do you think? I like this, the, the cilantro with Vietnamese cilantro on it. That gives it a little bit more flavor. Okay. What? I don't think I can eat anymore though. <laughs> but I haven't gone to the white part. What is mm -hmm. the fetus part? Oh God. <laughs> 12 days, 16 days, or like 20 days. Um, depending on how crunchy so how you want it. Huh? Oh, okay. how many days is this? Huh? Oh, how many days is this? I'm not sure. How many days? How many days? How many days? Okay, it's all right. So scary as I, what do you think? It's, it's, it's chewy. Oh my goodness. You see a little bit of the feather right there. Guts, internal parts. Um, I'm not gonna think about it. Okay. He's not, he's an G. Oh my gosh. That, is, that, is that the liver? It might be the liver. Wow. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Alright. I'm, 
Oh god. I'm gonna try it. I tried to get by and just by eating the the yellow. They said that I have to eat some of the white parts for me to be considered to try it. Oh lord. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna bite it. I need some more pork. I need some more of this. Hello! <laughs> Wait! You can't make noises! Okay! <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna bite it. I think I put too much salt in there. Only the first stop. <laughs> yeah. One down, three more to go. I did try the duck fetus. I wasn't, sadly I wasn't able to swallow it. The point is that I tried it. I wouldn't win the fear factor, but I think the point that I'm trying to make is I tried the duck fetus. Wow. You're not going to get this on a tourist tour. I'll just say that. Alright, so now Maya has taken me to a place where we're going to be eating chicken feet. <laughs> she said this is a favorite place. She we here. here yeah. We're doing the snow here. Yeah. She didn't tell me that. She, she's holding stuff behind me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be eating chicken feet and snails here. Oh my gosh, I really can't. My got me eating some stuff that I said I would never eat or never touch. It's going to be out of your comfort zone sometime, right? Yes, I agree. Well, thank you, Mai. Want to nice scarf with me? Yeah, Mai. So I'm also with Andy, who is a, a chef in San Francisco. San Jose. Oh, San Jose. Yep, San Jose. And um, he told me that he wanted me to try this. What's his beer again? Bisayong. Bisayong. Where he's from? I know you're from. He has own beer. <laughs> and um, we are going to try it. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. It's very light, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here is the chung nai. This egg and mugwort. Mugwort? I like this stuff. Yeah. Now we have, and it says chicken finger. <laughs> Oh wow, chicken fingers and um, snails and then there's some spring rolls, <laughs> what I'm used to. <laughs> wow. 
Mike's gonna tell us how we do it. Okay, so we uh, just take it out from the cell and dip it in the sauce and we eat it. <laughs> Why, why is it giving to me every time? <laughs> oh my god, it's sticky! It's, it's slimy! It's slimy! Okay! Okay! Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I love calamari and squid. Okay. It's striking me out. Yeah. Is it live? It's not live. It's dead, right? Yeah, this is dead. This is dead. Thank you. I'm gonna just eat snail, y'all. Snail! Vietnam's cuisine offers a ton of street food, but for foreigners visiting for the first time, some meals may seem like too much of a challenge for their palate. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, so how do I eat it? Wait, okay, so, there you go. So you break it. Now. Break the foot? Yeah. So you gotta break the foot. You see that it has another floor, right? So you break oh the Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is chicken, right? I love having a snack. Y'all got some fried chicken. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we have just finished our meal here. I have to say that the snails and the chicken feet were not that bad. Snails, Andy told me that it's like escargot. I've never had escargot, but it wasn't so bad. It wasn't as bad as the duck fetus, I would say that. So, I mean, escargot. And then for the, for the chicken feet, it's just like eating chicken fingers. Literally, fried chicken. So good. Great experience. Yes, okay, okay. After one beer, you after two oh, beers. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting my confidence here. <laughs> this is mine, and I have been working in the tourism industry for like almost 10 years. And I start out with the street food tour, which is very popular in Hanoi. And from the street food tour, I met so many people who have like you know, the like interest in different things. That is how I end up creating the Fear Factor Tour. For some, for, for some people, it can be disgusting, but like for us, uh, it's just the normal food that we uh, eat like growing up in poverty, you know, so we can just like eat anything that we can eat. So it's normal food for us. So if you come to Vietnam and you want to try, you know, like unusual food, so my is here. <laughs> when you come, because you're going to come, when you come to Vietnam and you want to do something outside of the normal food tour, you have to contact my info will be in the description box and get you the Fear Factor tour. I can do normal tour. <laughs> <laughs> but she also does the normal tour if you want to do, if you, if you want to play it safe and if you're boring, then do the, 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 you know, the regular tour. But we're not boring on this channel, right? We do things, we don't know what we're doing, but we do it them anyways. in the car to go to our third spot. I don't know where we're going, honestly. I'm just, gonna, I'm just going at this point. At our third place here, or our third and final place. I don't know what we're doing here, actually, but we're going to see it anyways. So we're at a place now that is famous for just eating insects. I don't know what she's ordering over here. Yeah. But we're going to try it anyways. I'm terrified. Oh my gosh! Okay, so this is actually not very popular in the north. It's more popular in the south. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Wait, wait, wait! Keep holding it, keep holding it. So this is something just between you and me. It moved by itself? It, it moved by itself. It moved by itself. Did that you, you, you? Did you move your finger? Me. That wasn't you? Oh my god. They're moving. This is very scary. This is the most scary It's moving! It's, 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 it really freaks me. Okay, I'm not gonna... I can do this. Let me go first. Let me go first. Wait. I got most of the time. <laughs> This is a lot. This is a lot for me. Because <laughs> I'm terrified. Okay, so uh, this is like what, what is that? Cricket, right? Yeah. Go from the easiest one. This yeah, one. I think and then this. Right here. And then that. What is this? 
This is some salsa. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> These are the dead um, coconut worms and the live coconut worms. I'll eat the biggest one to start. Why y'all on the tour? OMG. Yummy, right? Or not? It's like tofu, tofu. I am absolutely no. Uh, come, come on. 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 You can just say come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can say come on. I know. Eat it as is. Did you chew it? Yeah, you chew it. It's okay if you throw up or yeah. It's okay if you throw up. Yeah. Just do it on your feet, you know. <laughs> yeah, take that Yeah, you want to try this? Okay, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. What is all this? Mm -hmm. yeah, let me try the. Um, this is a cricket. A cricket so, and and uh, and. All right. So I chickened out just for a moment because I'm going to try the the egg leaf and the cricket. The, 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 the one. And egg. And egg. The leaf and egg. So I'm trying the egg leaf first and. Um, then the cricket, and then working my way up to the to the to the coconut worms. Is there bugs in this? No. Okay. no. This is the egg of the ant. <laughs> the egg of an ant? She asked if there's bugs in it. She's like, no, it's just the eggs of it. <laughs> ant is not egg. To, uh, it's not bug to me. What? Mm -hmm. What's not bug to you? Ant. To you? Okay. Ant is, like an ant is a bug. It is. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm about to eat a freaking cricket. <laughs> Why cricket? Oh my god. They're. Oh. The leaf. The leaf. The leaf. Okay. It makes it look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in my teeth. Okay, cheers. Yeah, you're doing this. Well, you're gonna brush your teeth and little legs are gonna come out. Oh, no, like, you are not bad. <laughs> I mean, you're you better. Better. You don't cheers. Cheers. Before we eat. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're about to have the live. You don't take it out. Of the, oh, you leave it in? Yeah, of the fish salt until you eat it. Otherwise, it dies. Okay. So let's, let's, leave her, let's leave her the biggest one. So let's go for the small one. <laughs> I'm okay with that. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> In your mouth and they're moving it around and they ask you to chew it and then it tasted really good. I mean he said it's like someone choked him with their finger but he ate it. <laughs> that was the description of him eating this worm. Someone moving their finger in their mouth and yeah what is the after effect that you're feeling right now? I want I another didn't. one. Was <laughs> 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 it really good? It good. Yeah it was good. I didn't even uh, I think I'm still winning because I did try it. The cricket was actually in my mouth. The fetus was actually in my mouth. It touched my mouth. It's not like I didn't try it. I, I just don't know about this thingy here. So as we're taking shots now, we need some regular food. She, she's hammered, y'all. <laughs> Some regular food, no insects, no bugs, no ducks. Vision, vision. This is Daisy right here. Oh, we literally named the last worm Daisy, but decided it was best to start eating regular food than bugs and insects and rodents so we can soak up the liquor. It's pigeon sticky rice. Narrow 
down who's gonna eat Daisy first. Paper, rock, scissors. You got it, my. Oh, God. Long one. All right. And we are finishing off. Andy yeah. has a date to get to. Yeah. He's going on a date. <laughs> <laughs> she, she means with her. <laughs> Here we have Mai. That was Mai, guys. She was fantastic here in Vietnam. <laughs> My fear factor tour. She pushed me, but we did it anyways. This solo journey of mine has already proven quite rewarding in a sense. When I left the States in December, my intentions was to push the envelope. And while some may argue this may be doing way too much, I beg to differ. I mean, we will never know and truly understand how other cultures live and the why behind those traditions in which they do if we don't step out of our own bubble that we live in. Never in a million years did I think that I would be sitting here in Vietnam eating fertilized eggs, fried chicken feet, which was pretty good, or even attempted to eat a live worm. But you see that I understand that developing cultural awareness lets you have more meaningful interactions with those around you. I mean, you're building your respect and empathy for other people and celebrating those differences as well as the similarities. While in this video, I have taken a drastic and dramatic approach. I invite you to seek ways to develop that cultural awareness as well. Do I get nervous? Am I scared out here in these international streets? Heck yes. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. I'll see you in the next one.